Hello and welcome to more Banjo-Kazooie! I was just taking a quick peek around Grunty's lair here to see if I missed anything between episodes or whatever. And turns out I did, so right over here is something that I have missed. Well, I've, I've been in this room before, but I forgot to go up on top of this pipe, because right over here is a Mumbo token, so I'll grab that. And now let's go and look for the next stage, I guess. Now I'm pretty sure it's going to be right through here, through this door that we uh, unlocked, I think, one or two episodes ago. So we'll go inside, and there's also, if you guys remember, there was a 260 note door over here that we can now open since we have 300 notes. But I'm not sure if we want to go through that quite yet. I think I'll go take a peek inside just to see what's in there, but we're probably going to come back to this area and explore this place a little bit more. But we'll open this. Hooray, we did it! So let's go look inside and see what's in here. Aha! I know exactly what this is. This is going to be a totally different stage. It's more of a uh, desert stage over there, but we'll come back to that. I think we're going to go to Bubble Gloop Swamp today, which is probably going to be inside this room, considering this is fairly swampy. And since we've already unlocked this stage, it seems like a good time to do it. Now, I don't think we can get that Jiggy in the center quite yet, but let's just go up here. I could go talk to Brentilda and get some more tips. I don't think we've talked to that particular Brentilda three times, but I'll, I'll do that later. Let's see, we have one hole we can go inside there, another one over here, so all kinds of places to check out, and right over there is Bubble Gloop Swamp, the actual stage. So we'll go in that in a minute, but first let's go explore. So inside here we have some boots. We can't actually use those yet, I think we get that ability within the, the swamp. I'm pretty sure what those boots will do is they will let you walk in the toxic swamp water without getting hurt. But let's check the Brentilda here. My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging, barging, whatever that is. Although she is dim, she attended Fat Hag High. And finally, you won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is performing a scary strip tease. Is this really a game for kids? They're talking about scary strip teases. Well, as you can see, there's a couple of goodies underneath the little bridge here, but that swamp water will hurt us. You can go inside it, but you'll just take some damage. And over there is a total extra area to check out through that little thing there, but again, we'll get to that in a bit. Let's go inside Bubble Goop Swamp. I can already hear the frogs. And of course, oh, crud, I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully I didn't just waste a gold feather, I might have. I don't even need that health, don't know why I'm killing that. Our first enemy here is a little froggy. Get wrecked. Let's see if Bottles here will actually give us the, the boots ability. Hey Bottles, long time no see. These are the wading boots, Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken or Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. So there you go, guys. We can now use those and walk through the swamp. Let me grab all these eggs, though. Kind of wasted a lot of eggs back in Clinker's Cavern trying to shoot at his uh, his tooth there, so kind of low on that. Aha, this guy. We want to shoot an egg inside of him. And that will make him... Well, he'll eat the egg, and then he'll vanish and reappear somewhere else. So we're going to have to go find him again. We have to find him a few times, and I think we get a reward for doing so. All right, so we could get those boots. Was there anything over here? Uh, not just the health. So let's go check up here, and then we'll go grab those boots. And it looks like there's a mumbo token for us to get. Uh, just some feathers up here, though. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's get the boots. I think we also get some awesome music doing this. Aw, yeah. Look at this, guys. Now, when we're doing this, we can jump. I don't think we can do much other, uh, much else than just jump there, though. So we got that. I think I'm just going to get right back out of the swamp water here, because we got all kinds of notes to get and stuff. Now, is there any way I can cancel this? I don't think I can. I think you have to just wait for the timer to run out. So there we go. Let's go kill this frog, because he's a butthead. I don't know why I'm killing all the wildlife here. He was clearly jumping away from me, so I did not need to kill him at all, but I guess I'm just that violent. Okay, let's get this yellow ginger. Yeah! Yo, guys, yesterday I did the, the whole Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire demo video. That video was so gosh dang long. I think the recording was nearly an hour and a half. And after I edited it, it was a uh, edited. Apparently, that's a hard word. But it, I think it was like an hour and five minutes in the uploaded version. Man, that is probably the longest video I will ever make. Honestly, I can't see a reason I would ever make a video longer than an hour and five minutes. But it seems like a lot of people still watch quite a lot of it, so that's cool. All right, let's go over here. I guess I could ride on top of the leaf, or I could just go through the swamp. I don't know why the leaf is there when they also give you the wade boots. Oh, Kurt, I need to get these notes before this runs out, though. Quickly! 
Oh my goodness. And I hear the timer, so I'm just gonna go up here. This is chill. And I think if we use this jump pad, we can get on top of this egg. And I think we can hit this little thing and break it. Oh, there's a one up there, but I missed it now. Crud. Oh well. Let's break this guy. And inside, it's probably gonna be a jiggy. Come on. Break it, Banjo. Maybe I have to punch it? Get out of punch. No, that didn't work. Maybe a beak breaker. That'll do it. And there is our first jiggy for Bubble Gloop Swamp. That actually happened pretty quickly, I gotta say. So now, oh, the leaf is so you can get back, duh. Because you don't have the boots on this side as well. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Oop. Oh, crud. I, ooh. Okay, almost uh, totally wiped out there. I don't think I actually needed to get that. I'm pretty sure I'm done with this little uh, side pocket area here. I'm just gonna go back to the center. There was a jiggy bubble, not bubble, a jiggy button right there. So maybe I'll hit that and see what happens. And some eggs, might as well grab these. Ah, oh, the timer's going. Get out of there! We're good. Let's hit this. And that will spawn a jiggy. Is that gonna be on a timer? I don't hear a clock. Oh, yep, there's a timer right there. So I guess we gotta go fast to get to the top. I'll try to get to the top. I guess I'm gonna skip that guy for now. I'll go back and get him. I'm gonna try to grab these notes along the way. There's also a mumbo token on the side. Missed one of the notes there, so I'll have to go back for that. Man, all kinds of stuff on the sides here. And honestly, I had plenty of time. I could have gotten all that stuff. But I'll just go back for it. I can just jump off right here and get back, uh, brought back to the start of this path. So there's already two jiggies. Nice. So we'll jump back down here. I'm not gonna get that health because I don't really need it. And let's just go get this guy his egg. Oh, if I can get out of the talent shot, that'd be great. Wait for it. There we go. So that'll take him down, and it'll put him right back up there. That one's going pretty fast. I think that might be the last one. I'm not 100% positive on that, though. So I'll grab this one note that I missed. We'll also grab this uh, mumbo here. And let's see. I think there was, yeah, also the Jinjo. So we'll grab that, and then I think we'll go back down towards the... Oh, we'll go back to the center. I want to be very thorough here. I think I want to make my way... Oh, crud! Oh, they got piranhas as well, dude. But I want to make my way over towards that turtle guy. Unless there's something here. Uh, an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. I guess I have to beat all these enemies? Uh, can I just, like, use my invincibility? Yeah! Take that game! So I guess I'm just gonna use this to beat all these guys. Hopefully I don't run out of the power here. Oh, that worked! Okay. It seems like they were taking more than one hit each, so maybe using your golden feather is the way to go, because that will one-shot them, but attacks, not quite so simple. I see a magenta Jinjo off in the distance there, so we will go that way in a bit. I want to go this way first, I think. We'll grab these notes, and there's also some notes along this guy's hands, but I think we can also ground pound his hands, so let's do that. Oh! So we got that. There were some red feathers off in the distance there, but... Not gonna really go for those. Let's just fly across, and not gonna bother with that health. I think I will actually get that Jinjo now. So let's just go ahead and grab this. Actually, I don't even need that. Let me just, I'll take the one point of damage, and then I'll just get the heal right here. That way I don't have to wait for the timer on those boots. So that is playing efficiently. Ah, yeah. Let me just have one more spot to hit here. Bam! I gotta say, this stage is a lot more fun than I remember it being. This is really awesome. And he's saying something about tanked up. I guess we'll go get that Jiggy. I think we can also go inside his mouth here, guys. So this is another interior area. First we go inside a giant metal shark. Now we're going inside a giant turtle for some reason. Let's just, let's just go in. Aha! And inside here we have a little... Seems to be some kind of choir, maybe. I want to get these notes. So we're up to 46 already. It's only been a few minutes on the video, and I'm already making some good progress here, guys. And this here is Tip Top. I think he's actually one of the racers in Diddy Kong Racing. Alongside Banjo, of course. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform their latest work. So the way that this works, guys, is the turtles here were, will perform. And then we need to go and ground pound them in the order that they performed in. So I have to go hit the red and then whatever else they were. So this, it starts off easy, as you can expect. But eventually this is going to get hard. We're going to have more difficult stages here. So we hit red, cyan, and then blue. Let's just follow along here. I might have to not be super talkative during these portions, because I am going to have to focus pretty hard here. So 
We've got yellow, purple, red, blue, purple. Yellow, purple, red, blue, purple. Yellow, purple, red, blue, purple. All right, that wasn't too bad. I don't know how many levels there is to this. I think there's three or four. Oh, just one more lesson. Okay. Do not mess this up. Purple. Cyan. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Blue. Yellow. Okay. I think it was purple. Oh, gosh. I've already forgotten. Purple, cyan. Yellow. It was a yellow or red? Yellow. Red, uh, blue, that wasn't right, Ah, oh, crud, do I have to start all over? Please don't ask me if I have to start all over. Oh wait, could I have just tried again right on the spot there? Ah, oh, crud, do I have to go back to lesson one? Okay, purple, cyan, yellow, red, yellow, blue, yellow, okay. I, I think I got this. Just gotta focus, guys. Oh. Purple, cyan, yellow, red, yellow. I think it was blue, yellow, right? Blue, yellow. Please be right. Please tell me I'm right at this. Yeah! Take that game. It only took me two tries, guys. Kind of feel stupid for missing it the first time, but oh well. We got the jiggy here. We also have three notes to grab up there, so. Let's do it. Give me that crud. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. That is totally fine, Tip Top. I've got all I need. We'll grab these guys and get the heck out of here. So that is it for the Tip Top Choir. I kind of like that. They have like these little side things in this game, which just kind of distract you for just a little bit, you know? They don't drag on long enough to be a nuisance, but I don't know. They're fun. It's one of my favorite parts about this game. All kinds of stuff to get on the floor here, but I don't actually have any swamp boots. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Ow, oh, crud. Ow, how are you supposed to get up there? Let me not die right now. So I'm going to use the spring to get back up once again. I don't know if you're meant to jump on top of the houses or crush them. Oh, okay, that'll make a spring boost. That works. And I think we're going we're gonna to get up to the last golden alligator here. Nope, oh, not quite, actually. We gotta be close. Oh, the Grunty Switch is here alongside five extra notes. Nice! Let's hit that Grunty Switch. Which will, what will that do? Oh, that opens up the way for us to get that Jiggy that I was talking about in the center there. So we'll go back for that at some point. I thought the gold guy was up here. Maybe he's a bit further up. Oh, there he is. Okay. So let me go across and totally miss that Mumbo. I don't know how you're supposed to get that one. Oh, there's still one more down there, so we have not gotten all of that yet. We'll come back for that. I gotta figure out a way to get this mumbo up here. Oh, maybe I have to break this, get the other jump pad, and then use that to get the mumbo. Aha, there we go. I don't know why I thought I had to jump on top of the house there. So now we can get up here, and this looks like the last one, so I'm guessing a jiggy will be had. Yeah, we were just flying through the jiggies in this stage. So we are already up to six out of ten jiggies. Wow. Oh, oh crud. Oh, jeez. Using these bounce pads can be a little bit dangerous at times. So I think that's going to be it for here. I need to get some boots, though. Some wade boots. So I guess I'll go over this way and see if there is any. Because if I don't get any wade boots, I'm going to be... I, I have no clue how I'm supposed to go down here and get this stuff. There it is. Okay. Let me grab that guy. I might have to make a couple trips down here. I would definitely like to get those gold feathers, but I can't seem to make it down there. Wait a second. I can't reach, dude. I can't get down there! What the crud? Uh... I guess you're supposed to just take the damage? No, I can't go in there at all. Alright, so apparently I forgot how to do this part. If you guys know, then let me know, but I, I can't seem to reach down there. I'll come back for this at some point. Maybe in the next episode I'll come back for that part. So if you guys know how to actually do that, let me know. I, I for some reason, have forgotten how to do that part. So let's just go over this way instead. And I guess we'll deal with this giant alligator. We got giant turtles and giant alligators in this stage. Or crocodile, I don't know if it's a gator or, or a croc here. But let's go get this last one. Well, that is me assuming that this is the last one. I don't know if it actually is. It's probably going to be even more. If I could stop getting hit by enemies, that'd be great. I don't want to die again. That was embarrassing enough in Treasure Trove Cove when that happened. 
There we go. No, there is still one more. So, wow, that last one is going real fast. Jeez. It looked like we can actually go inside the nostril of this thing. But it looks like you gotta be tiny, so maybe we get an ability that makes us really small. I don't know. Or maybe we just have to shoot some eggs up his up his nose here. Let's try that. No, it does not appear to be it. Oh, are we gonna get another animal transformation here? Never mind, guys. Don't don't worry about leaving a comment about how to do that part. I think we get an animal transformation in this stage, like we did in the first stage, where we turned into a termite. I think that'll give us the small size that we need to actually do these things. Oh, once again, I'm getting hit by everything, man. Let's see. I could go back that way. I saw a Jinjo up there, but let's go through this part. We have a little bit of a maze here, actually. Using the, the wade boots to get through it. I don't... Actually, it doesn't look like much of a maze, because there's only one way to go. Does it still count as a maze if there's no twists and turns? It's just like the same... It's just one pa straight path, kind of. I mean, it's not a straight path. There are turns, but it's not like a... It's not like a path where you have dead ends and stuff. That's what I mean to say. Oop, grab that. Oh no, did I just waste just enough time by missing that note that now I'm gonna get hurt? That might happen. We'll just have to see how strict the timer is on this guy. Looks like I might take some damage. Ooh, jump! Oh, made it just to the end there. All right, let's hit the switch. And that will spawn a Jiggy over there. What's my time gonna be though? Probably like 10 seconds. Yep. Ooh, I don't like these tight paths, but I made it. That only took five seconds, actually. So there we go. Did not even have to use the talent trot for that. And I just hit my microphone. I'm sorry, guys. So let's go finish off this. I think we're going to finish off the maze and then call it a day, guys. Ooh. Actually, today is the launch day for Fantasy Life and Bayonetta 2. I actually got both of those games in the mail today. So I'm going to be doing a Fantasy Life live stream right after this video goes out. Or not right after it. I got to do some stuff. I've been trying to do the whole get healthy and exercise thing. So I'm going to go exercise after this and probably shower and then do a live stream, so ignore this if you're watching this, not the day it's uploaded, but if you're watching it right when it's uploaded, guys, you should go check out my live stream at twitch.tv slash psycho. But here we are, we have to turn in 10 tokens, and I guess he'll give us a transformation here. Let's check out what it is. Actually, first off, let's check and see if there's anything actually up here. Looks like just red feathers. Oh, the empty honeycomb piece. It is a good thing I checked for that. All right, let's talk to him, and he will turn us into... Little gator. Alright. But I don't think we're gonna do anything as this quite yet, guys. We will come back, I'll meet you exactly in this spot, and we will finish off this stage. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you then! Take care!